Today we're going to be talking about the pineal gland, which has sometimes been called the third eye, but basically it's the hormone in your, it's the gland, I should say, that produces the hormone in your body, known as melatonin. From other videos I've spoken about this before, melatonin is what's known as the dark hormone, or the hormone of darkness. You, when you take in sunlight to your retinas throughout the day, your body naturally starts producing this hormone, melatonin, up to the point where it builds up to the point where you're ready to fall asleep because you're so tired, right? But the actual pineal gland itself, the gland which is about the size of a, a bean, which is responsible for actually producing melatonin, and as well as regulating other things like circadian rhythm, is actually a very mysterious and, I guess you could say, mystical uh, gland or organ. So let's just talk a bit more about this. You've probably heard of the, ter if you've heard of the pineal gland, you've probably heard of pineal cal calcification, which is where by ingesting too much fluoride or things like, um, you know, chemical substances that we're not meant to ingest, over time you start to develop these phosphate crystals on the pineal gland, which sort of inhibit its function and make you less self-aware. They have various um, negative effects on your pineal gland. And I've made another video about how to decalcify the pineal gland, but let's just backtrack a little bit and talk about more what it is and where it sort of derived its meaning, because it's, it's sort of like a mysterious thing. You know, it's not very well documented. It's not really as well talked about as it maybe should be. So from looking at the history, it seems that the pineal gland was actually known, you know, its properties and powers were known about by the Egyptians and, you know, going back even further as well. So it's always been this sort of organ that's been shrouded in mystery and its purpose and you know what it actually does is not really very well known other than obviously it, it regulates circadian rhythm, produces melatonin, but it also has these sort of ties and, and semantic links to the, the third eye or you know the a higher plane of existence. So there is a substance called DMT which I'm not going to try and pronounce the full name of but it gives you these sort of profound life-changing visions and you know hallucinations. What is really interesting to notice though is the pineal gland can actually produce DMT naturally in the body. It just produces such a small amount that you don't have the hallucinations and the viv uh, vivid visions that you would if you took a chemical version of DMT, right? But what's interesting to notice is that although DMT is a really powerful hallucinogenic compound, your body produces it naturally. And so when you look at things like decalcifying the pineal gland and getting more in touch with how it works, you can start to see why it has been connected with visions and profound life-changing experiences by all, almost all cultures throughout civilization, because it naturally produces DMT, which as I said, is very hallucinogenic. So the actual name pineal, uh, you know, the pineal gland, is derived from the shape that the gland actually has. So it's in the shape of a pine cone, hence pineal gland. What the gland actually does is it transforms signals from your nervous system into your hormonal system and helps you regulate things like melatonin. This is very important because without melatonin you wouldn't have a circadian rhythm, you know, you wouldn't have that sort of innate knowledge that when the sun is up you should be awake and when the sun goes down you should be asleep. It has actually been sort of dubbed or called the third eye, but this is slightly misleading because it's not the third eye in the sense that it is your higher being and higher awakened self, it's more that it's a gland which connects you with that sort of area of yourself. It's not actually your third eye, but it's more connected to that side of yourself. So if you want to learn more about the pineal gland, I suggest you check out my other video which is linked in the description, which is how to decalcify the gland, because the problem with this is that although it can help you unlock various higher areas of your consciousness, it can tend to be calcified, especially if you use toothpaste with fluoride. Um, if you've never heard of this idea, then it's going to be completely random and new to you. But in a nutshell, fluoride is a very harmful substance which when ingested through the form of toothpaste, you know, you ingest small amounts of it every day, it tends to have a massively negative effect on things like the pineal gland as well as other areas of your health as well. I'm not gonna get into that because that's an entirely new debate. Um, but for now, you know, if you wanna check out the pineal gland and how to activate it, how to use it more in your life, then check out the video in the description. If not, leave a comment letting me know your opinion.
Thank you.